Hi guys, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do an energy update for the month of September to see what Spirit wants to share with us regarding what we can expect, what the overall themes are um, for the month of September. So I have three different decks I'm going to be using. So I'm going to start with this deck here to see what the overall energy we're looking at for September. Crystal Cave Trust. So we are being asked to trust the process. We are being asked to, some of us go into hermit mode, to really deep dive into our soul. What is our soul calling us to do? What is our dreams and our desires that we've been putting on the back burner? What has your spirit been nudging you to do, to let go of, to look into, to study, to explore? What have you been shown? What have you been getting nudges about that you've been ignoring? That is all coming up in September. It's like we're being asked to go on this exploration within ourselves and to trust and have faith and know that we are being guided in the areas of our lives that we need to be guided towards and to not have fear, to let go of fear, drop fear at the door and walk through that door, that new door that door of opportunity that's opening up for each and every one of us with faith, with trust, and with hope, with belief that it's all going to be okay. And no matter what is being shown in the external world, we need to completely, if we can, detach from that. I know there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world. <sighs> for some time, um, but we are being asked to disengage with that energy and to really trust and go within ourselves and see what it is that we need to do or we need to start entertaining in our own individual lives. So that's the overall message for September. Let's see what other energies are coming. I'm going to pull three cards. What else can we expect in September? I'm hearing new beginnings and magic. New beginnings and magic for September. All right, the first card we have is Salamander. Ouroboros, creative work, infinite wisdom, alchemy. So this is really backing up the message about the crystal cave with trust and really going towards your dreams, doing the inner work, doing the shadow work, letting go of what needs to be let go of, disengage with the old story and start rewriting your new story, doing some inner work, meaning like, you know, shadow work, releasing old traumas, old wounds, healing from the past so that you can embrace the new. And... Alchemy, which is all about transforming energy, becoming the alchemist, transforming your life, and creating a new life for yourself, getting back into your creative endeavors. So if you've been looking into starting a business, if you've been working on a project, like a creative project, I just finished filming uh, the Zodiac Signs for September, and there was a lot of information coming forward for a lot of signs about starting your own business, getting into your creative projects, using your energy and harnessing your passions. Um, when we work on things that we're passionate about, like a creative project that excites us, we get up every day excited to work on this project, we are harnessing the energy of passion, which is very close to the energy of love, which is a very high frequency. And when you work on that energy every single day, that becomes your set point frequency. And so when your set point frequency is of a higher one, nothing in the lower vibrational realms can touch you. 
as much. You know, if you are in a lower frequency, you are an energetic match to those vibrations. So when we come higher, we we ride above the stormy weather, so to speak. So that's why I think spirit is really pushing for people to start working on their passion, doing a creative project, even if it's, <clears throat> as my throat shocker goes, doing a passionate project, even if it's not like for a business, if you just like drawing or painting or singing or dancing, whatever it is, just start working on that in September and allow that expression of energy to come through you however it wants to express itself because it's going to lift you and boost you and also um, you know, help you transform and shift into a higher vibrational timeline for your highest and greatest good. I'm also hearing, um, for those of you who are resonating with the term starseed or light worker, to really get out in September if you can and go look at the stars and try to connect with your star family. I am hearing that there's something about you looking at the stars that's going to activate and awaken something within you. All right, we have Earth Mother, Psychic Recharge, Grounded Healer, Mentor, and Layers. So... There are a lot of you watching this who are being activated in September. Your psychic abilities are getting stronger. If you already have them, they are getting stronger. Um, but going into Mother Nature is going to help you become a stronger alchemist, to become more wise, to be, to be grounded to Mother Earth's energy. We can harness her power and use it to heal ourselves and heal others. So some of you watching this, you are meant to be a healer in this lifetime. And in September, I feel spirit is guiding you towards what you can heal about yourself in order to become the healer in your um, next phase of your journey. So becoming the healer, meaning your words are healing to others, or you can literally harness the energy and the powers from Mother Earth and activate and awaken certain dormant DNA in you that allows you to then heal others physically through energy work, through, um, you know, just through Reiki or through massage or through your words, like being a counselor, that's a type of healer, being a doctor, that's a type of healer, um, you know, or being a psychic and doing readings for people, doing you know, pulling cards, divination to help heal their situation by giving them hope, giving them, you know, messages that will help guide them, being that mentor to help peel back the layers that, you know, we, we're coming into a time on this planet where a lot of us are being activated and awakened to our true potential, our true essence, our true power, our authentic selves. And we're being reminded of who we are as a spiritual being having a temporary human experience on this planet. So as we activate, as we awaken, as we go through these spiritual awakenings, we are peeling back the layers of ourselves to get to the truth of who we really are. And that's really coming up in uh, September for a lot of people. And we also have snake skin. Yeah, so before I read anything else, they're showing me in my mind's eye, like peeling the layer of the skin of the snake to re... To re um, what is that? Um, to show a new layer, a fresh layer, you know, that's more brilliant, more exuberant, um, more shiny. So it says information, secrets, body language, and senses. So there is going to be some secrets being revealed in the public. Um, we are going to hear some things about public, like uh, people in the public eye, um, but they're saying to watch people's language and use your senses. So when you are getting information from anyone in your individual life, or you're getting information from the news or from anyone outside of yourself, so to speak, this information um, is not always truthful. And so you have to use your senses. You have to use your inner knowing to decipher is this a truth message or is this a deceptive message because there is a lot of lies a lot of deception out there at the moment and we as um, spiritual beings that are being activated and awakened we are becoming more empathic and psychic to really tune into our inner knowing and be like okay that's bs that's false that's not true 
Um, I can see through that, you know, pretty clearly. So it's about not always taking information that's given, even if it's a person of authority, government, what have you, don't always take it at face value. Like feel it from your gut. What is your gut saying about it versus your mind? We're awakening um, in September, we're awakening our empathic abilities more and we're using more of our body language and our senses to decipher between energies of, okay, is this truth? Is this lie? Is this deceptive? Is this benevolent? Is this maleficent, you know, um, or malevolent and benevolent? There we go. Yeah. Is it good? Is it bad? You know, you have to use your feeling and your inner knowing. You can't use what other people are thinking or agreeing to or what other people are saying. You know, you have to, you have to go with your gut. We're being, as we go from the beginning of 2020 up until now, we've been, spirit's been working on us through the solar flares that are coming in from the sun, through the energies of the moon, we are being stirred up and releasing a lot of darkness within to help us get and fine tune our inner knowing so that we can really see through and decipher for ourselves and not need external sources to help us decide what's truth and what's not. Um, Bella Donna visions, caution, guidance, clarity, stand firm. Yeah, so this is backing up again what I was just saying about using your inner guidance, your inner knowing to get clarity and to stand firm in your convictions. If you know something's wrong or not right, you need to stand firm in that and speak up on it and not shy away from fluffing feathers of others and standing and speaking your authentic truth. Um, but to use caution with that, you know, you don't want to get you don't want to get wrapped up into drama of other people if they don't agree with you. You can have your opinion, but don't allow it to cause an egoic reaction within you of frustration. You know, you can just speak your truth, let people hear it, but then move past it. It's about being being wise with our conversations and no longer letting our ego run the show. But when we have conversations with people to really allow our higher selves to come forward and speak through us. And if we don't agree with what other people are saying, that's okay. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. We don't have to be reactive to it. We don't have to spew our inner, you know, and do word vomit and be reactive to um, the triggers that are coming up for us. If something triggers you, sit with it and be like, hmm, why is this triggering me? Is this an old wound from the past that's surfacing that's now ready to heal? Or is this, you know, because I'm not agreeing with what they're saying and what they're saying I believe to be wrong, you know, sit with it and see what it is before you react and speak um, something that may be hurtful because words are very cutting and, you know, words stick with people. So as we get higher evolved on the planet, more and more people are awakening, we're becoming less... Um, childlike in our communication and more wise, more adult-like. It's like, you know, when you watch and witness a child speaking to another child, it's very childlike. It's very um, adolescent in its nature. It's very immature, if you will. So we are becoming more mature with our communication, I feel, in September as well. All right. Let's see what we have for the tarot, and we're going to wrap this up. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to shuffle that. This deck is way too big. Okay. I'm, they're sharing a message with me right now that um, some of you need to hear. You need to stand in your power in September. You need to go after your dreams full throttle. None of this woulda, shoulda, coulda, or what if, this or that. Like, it's time. It's time for you to get going. And I just got chills. So there's a, there's a few people watching this that needed to hear that message. Um, it's time for you to get going. It's time.
time to wake up and be who you were meant to be when you incarnated. All right, we have focusing on the negative, things not turning out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a reason, look for the hidden blessings. So this is the energies coming in for September. It's about realizing all of this energy played a purpose to help us learn, to help us grow. You know, we grow through our struggles. We grow through what we go through and it's okay. You know, things that happened in the past don't have to stick with us. We can release them and let go and move past them and not allow them to imprison us any longer and be bold enough to forgive, be courageous enough to let go and to move into new territory because that's what life is all about. It's about growing and evolving and moving on to better things. But when you focus on the negative, you keep, you keep repeating that cycle of negative things to happen because the energy that you sit with, the frequency you vibrate within, is then going to be your day-to-day -day reality. So if you forgive, you're literally freeing yourself from the shackles of sitting within that dark energy, um, that dark reality, and allowing yourself to fly free and move into different territory that's better for you. It's all about forgiveness. September is big on forgiveness. Looking for the hidden meaning behind why things happened, you know, like everything happens for a reason and just try to find the meaning of it and, you know, be like, is this something that helps me learn a lesson? Is it something I needed to grow from? Um, is it something that happened so that I would now be drived into this path versus that path? You know, there's always a hidden meaning behind it. It's not life happening to you. It's happening for you. So try to come to the higher bird's eye view perspective of why things happen um, and forgive and let go and move on so that you can get into the path that spirit wants you in. Oops. We have. Seven of Cups, make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addictions. So Spirit is saying for us to get clear on what we want and just go for it. Stop him hawing over this or that. Go with what excites you the most. If you're deciding between someone, some job, something, um, whatever decisions you're stuck on, it's Always go with what excites you the most, not what's what, what's prettiest on paper or going to make you the most money or this. What is the soul wanting from the situation? What does your soul want? Not what your ego wants. What does your soul want? That's the decision that needs to be made. And the more you procrastinate, you lose out on the energy that's coming up in the now moment. When we act in the now moment, there's power within within that. There's um, something to be said about taking an action within the energy as it comes up. Sometimes if we make a decision too quickly, we can trip and fall. So sometimes spirit will present a, an idea to you and you're supposed to sit with it, let it marinate within your soul. And then maybe a year later is when you're supposed to act on it. But if you don't act on it and you procrastinate and you let that energy fizzle out, it'll die and maybe that idea, that great idea you had to invent something really cool will then go to somebody else because spirit puts energies out for certain souls to grasp onto to make a better world for us. You know, we all have different ideas and different things that come through us to help the world, essentially. And we're all here to help the world. We're all here to play a part as an individual, a part of the greater good, part of the collective. In the addictions, it's about really getting in touch with your your addictions in September and really trying your best to move past them because they're holding you back, I'm hearing. Um, and sometimes when we are stuck in life and we don't feel good about our situation and we just have so much mental, like, hamster wheel type energy going on in our head. We just keep going round and round and round in our head. Um, we can use addictions to, you know, it could be food for comfort. It could be exercising too much. It could be sex. It could be anything, drugs, you name it. Anything can be an addiction. Sugar, um, some 
alcohol, we use addictions to numb out what what is coming up for us because we're not ready to deal with it. And spirit is saying, have courage, have faith, have trust, let go of what needs to be let go of. And if you know you've been getting nudges about certain things, it's time to now take action on that. All right, two more cards, please. And this is not me picking on you if you are in that. I have dealt with addiction in my life as well. It's not an easy task to overcome, but you can do it if you really put your mind to it. And spirit will help you through it. We can even be addicted to people. I've in the past as well have had addictions to certain people and wasn't ready to let go of them even though they were bad for me. So, you know, call upon your guides and your angels to help assist you through letting go of certain things people, jobs, situations, whatever you're addicted to. Um, embrace, let's see, this is the lover's card. Embrace true love and deep, intimate friendships. Make choices from the heart. Vibrant health or recovery from an illness. So a lot of you who have been suffering with illnesses, in September you are going to be getting a reprieve. You are going to be getting healthy um, energies coming in that are going to shift your mindset and help you out of that illness. The more you talk about your illness, the more you talk about how sick you are, the more you talk about how bad things are, that is your energy that you are putting out to repeat the same story tomorrow, the day after, the day after, the day after. When we fake it till we make it is what I'm hearing. That's when we can really transform and shift. And I'm speaking on this from experience because I have two autoimmune disorders that go in and out of remission. I've had it for since, gosh, like 15 years I've been battling. So when I have a situation come up where I go out of remission and I'm dealing with my health issues. Um, it's really challenging. It's really um, painful. It's really hard. And I go into a dark place. But it's a matter of power of mind over matter. And I have to pull myself into the remembrance of like, no, I am the creator. I am healthy. This is my true my true authentic self is a healthy version of me. So what am, what is this situation teaching me? What did I need to learn from going backwards right now? Um, is it because I was going too hard in life and I need to now rest? Is this happening because spirit is saying you need to slow down and rest? Is this showing me um, maybe I was eating the wrong things for too long? Is this showing me I was holding on to emotions and not releasing them? There's always a, a reason behind it, um, a growing experience from it. So embracing it and just thinking positively and saying to yourself every single day, I am healed. I am healthy. I am strong. I am wise. I am loved. I am whole. You know, I am complete. Saying these affirmations and faking it till you make it shifts your vibration, you know, and not talking about the drama, not talking about the pain, not talking about what is wrong, you know, so that you can shift into the opposite of that. Um, and there are going to be deep, intimate friendships and relationships coming for some of you in September. Um, you're going to be having new relationships, new friendships that give you that soul, like soul tribe feeling or that soul meat feeling. Um, and I also feel that certain people that come into your life are actually going to shift some of your vibrations into a higher one to help you get past certain things. They're going to come in to help you move past certain things you're struggling with. And to just embrace that and um, always make decisions from your heart, not from your ego. One more card. Too much going on. This is Eight of Wands. Too much going on. Stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes. The ability to multitask business and travel. So there's a lot of movement, a lot of quickening energy coming in in September to give us that boost, to give us that motivation, to lift us up and give us that drive and that courage and that passion to move forward in our endeavors to go after our dreams, go after our desires, and to leave behind the old story and embrace the new that wants to come in for us. Um, and letting go of the stress. You know, if you are dealing with stress, using crystals, using herbs, 
using spiritual baths, going into Mother Earth, uh, meditating in Mother Earth's energy, you know, being by a tree is really helpful, calming, soothing. Um, you know, meditation is a big thing and a lot of people don't like to do it. I don't even like to do it sometimes, but it really does help. So if you can even spend just five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day of just calming your mind, deep breathing and disconnecting from, you know, technology and people and just being at one with yourself and your higher self um, will really help rejuvenate your energy and your rebalancing your chakras is big too. So if you can do meditations to rebalance your chakras, YouTube has a lot of them. Um, that will help calm you and give you clarity to make decisions, to decide on things um, that's giving you stress and will help you understand which direction you're supposed to go with if you do have multiple options or opportunities coming in. Um, but there's going to be a lot of rapid changes, a lot of movement, but it's all for the greater good. So don't judge anything as good or bad. Try to let go of that labeling. Um, we as humans like to latch on to things and label things, but Spirit is saying it's all neutral. It's all neutral. So come to the perspective of a, new, of a neutral point of view and your life will be a lot smoother and easier. So that is all I have for you guys. That is the energy coming forward for September. So it looks like it's going to be good. It looks like it's going to be healing, a lot of activations, um, a lot of movement in general. So I am sending you so much positive energy. I hope you have a blessed September and I will see you in another video. Bye guys.